Sauteing is a technique that uses high heat, a small amount of oil, and constant movement to cook small pieces of food quickly without necessarily browning them. Swiss chard is a great example of a simple saute. Heat oil in a pan on medium high to high heat. As soon as smoke appears, add a few cloves of minced garlic to the pan. Stir it to ensure even cooking. You can either use a utensil like tongs or just shake the pan. The garlic only cooks for a few seconds, so be prepared to quickly add the Swiss chard before the garlic burns. Once the Swiss chard is added, immediately stir with your tongs. Like garlic, the Swiss chard will cook quickly. Once it is wilted, pull the pan off the stove and season the greens with salt. To make a layered saute, or one with many ingredients, the technique is the same, but it's important to know which order to add different ingredients to the pan. Aromatics like onions and garlic are going to go first, followed by all of the rest of the food in order of longest to shortest cooking times. For this dish, we are doing a saute of garlic, onions, mushrooms, carrots, and broccoli. Start with a hot pan with the oil just starting to smoke and add the onion and garlic. Add seasoning and then stir or shake the pan until the onions are translucent. Then add the mushrooms with a little bit of salt. Stir and shake the pan to keep the mushrooms moving. When the mushrooms have just softened, add the carrots with a pinch more salt. Keep moving the carrots until they can bend but not break. When the carrots are ready, add the broccoli to the pan with a little bit more salt and continue to move the food around until the broccoli is bright green. The brown glaze at the bottom of the pan has a lot of flavor, and it can be added back into the food by deglazing. Take any liquid and pour it into the pan when it's hot so that it boils immediately. Then, stir and scrape the bottom as the water evaporates to incorporate that brown glaze back into your saute. If you wish to add any kind of a sauce, like a cheese sauce or a teriyaki, add it now. Sautéing is a really useful tool for making quick side dishes, but don't forget about it when you're making pastas, stir-fries, stews, or braises as well.